A government shutdown could add to an already growing problem. A surge in travel demand that has overwhelmed passport facilities is increasing the wait time for a passport. There are currently about 2.4 million applications that are waiting to be processed. Colorado lawmakers are announcing the second in a series of legislation to combat the inflated wait times. And Olivia Young was in Adams County today where Congresswoman Yadira Caraveo announced the Fast Passports Act. So, Olivia, I'm curious, what do those wait times currently look like? Well, Kelly, right now, if you apply for a U.S. passport, you could wait as long as 13 weeks before you get it. It's a major obstacle if you have a trip planned sooner. And as you said, it's re related to a post-pandemic surge in travelers clogging up that system. But new legislation aims to fix the problem. The Adams County Clerk's Office is a certified passport acceptance facility. They see 25 appointments a day in peak summer season. Post-COVID, I think this is something that we've been experiencing. Many of those customers aren't happy about the passport wait times they're quoted. 10 to 13 weeks. Applicants can pay $60 more for expedited processing and $20 more for expedited shipping, but could still be waiting over two months. I think we've, we have a lot of phone calls on, you know, I didn't plan my trip for 13 weeks out. That's why Congresswoman Yadira Caraveo is announcing the Fast Passports Act. We will take care of the entire system to make sure that the wait times uh, go down to really what the goal is um, around two to three weeks for expedited, six to nine weeks for um, a regular passport application. Caraveo says outdated processes and a lack of communication between agencies make it difficult for applicants to get updates. It will be getting rid of some of the duplication that they do where literally two passport books end up uh, being printed for the same person because there is no communication between the two different processing agencies. The soon to be introduced legislation hopes to work alongside the Passport Modernization Act to streamline the process and reduce wait times. Caraveo is introducing the legislation tomorrow and cost has not yet been explored. In the meantime, if you're having issues with your passport application, contact your local congressperson. They may be able to get you some answers faster. In Adams County, I'm Olivia Young covering Colorado First. All right, Olivia, thank you for that update.